Hello, Flatland Woodsman here. Um, I'm still struggling with learning how to run a camera. Um, but I would have, I'm going to do a gear review today. Um, the, what I work in the oil fields of North Dakota and North Dakota is notorious for getting dark early in the uh, evenings. Oh, normally it's five o'clock we get dark. It's getting a little um, lighter out now because it's February, but I depend on my flashlights. Um, I'm just like everybody else. I'm a mag light guy. I've had mag lights all my life and they've treated me good. Problem with a mag light is you better carry batteries with them because when you want them, the batteries are going to be dead on. It's just how the bowl run, um, how the cookie crumbles. We uh, we depend on um, on batteries. I picked one of these. I picked two of these Nebos up oh uh, two years ago, and they've treated me really well. They're just an on and off, and it works. This one needs a new battery, but I mean, I'll put one in and it'll last for a couple months until I put another one in. Well, what I've been looking for is looking for something I can recharge and it's not cheap. You get some of these cheap rechargeable flashlights and they work for about a month and you've, you know, you wasted 40 bucks and by the time you get to the point you get a good flashlight, you could have went and bought a real nice flashlight. So I got a def couple good reviews. I've seen through nights. I'm not, I haven't tried any through nights yet. I've had some sure fires. Is that what they're called? And I haven't done none. Of, I've got a couple stream lights. Um, but I was looking for something that was affordable that if I wasn't going to be breaking the bank on, but it'll do what I um, have. So did a couple, seen a couple reviews, did some research on it. A couple guys on, uh, YouTube recommend these really good. So what I did was I picked up an Olight and the one I picked up because of the battery size and the lumens is a S30R baton. Um, I don't really know what the specs are. Like I said, I'm the high lumen count don't bother me. Normally I run on a, that's, I run on a medium. It normally does what I need it to do. Got it in December been a good flashlight for about a month and a half and then I started having issues with it that kind of bothered me because I spent $80 for this flashlight on eBay uh, I can't remember if I bought this one on eBay I do a lot of eBay shop and this could have been right from a direct flashlight guy but what started happening was when I, I'd play with the flashlight of course like most people do and when evening came around, when I really needed it, the flashlight wouldn't turn on. I'd tap it a little and then it would come on. Or sometimes I'd get a red indicator light here saying that the battery was dead. And I'm like, well, that can't be right. You know, shoot, I've played with flashlights all day long. And I've never run the battery down kind of thing. And I thought maybe I was pushing it and it was going, um, turning on in my pocket because of where the this button is. I thought maybe it was depressing on like my keys or something but that wasn't key well come to find out last week it stopped working all together or it would it would be low and then the light would be on i couldn't figure out what it was so i emailed olight because of course i was 30 days over on my my store warranty or what i think it was store warranty would it, and um never got um never got a uh response back so i set it in the deal and it would just the light would just blink it wouldn't charge you know and there was nothing i couldn't figure out nothing to do it so of course wonderful web internet i went scrounging around and come to find out somebody was having this issue as well and it comes to find out that what happens is with this magnet that's on the end here it collects residue, like shavings, metal shavings, or, I mean, you drop it in the dirt, stuff like that. And it binds this little, this little, um, charger. There's a safety pin. Right here, this is a charger right here, and it pushes in and out, and if it don't, it doesn't have smooth, full contact, it won't charge, or it won't turn on, or the modes won't work. Well, don't really like that idea, because... I depend on my light. I depend when I grab it on my pocket, it to turn on. 
Well, just today, I got a response saying, oh, just send, send the flashlight in and we will replace it or get you another one. Well, it bothers me to send it in now because I took it apart and it already says in the warranty that it voids the warranty. And here I am making a video about it. I kind of guess lied about it, but it's my flashlight now. I void the warranty. However, I went gung-ho with these O-lights because, again, I like this charger. This charger is a neat system. I could put one in my truck. I could have one. It would be a true EDC. It would be ready. It would be ready to go. Oh, see, this one's, see, it's still having twitches. I... I'm still got to figure out why it's doing what it's doing. But, again, eh, it's just something to play with. I have, huh, apparently, oh, here it is. I bought an SR25, uh, RSR20. A little smaller flashlight, same, same idea. I noticed, I've been looking at it today. I noticed it has a different, it has a, a bigger charging area than this, um, S30R. So maybe they have fixed it. Maybe this was an older model, but that's kind of, I can't balk about the light. I'm just balking about the dead dependability, the being able to turn it on, turn it off. Well, I wanted a bigger flashlight, and of course, I bought another old light because it's rechargeable. I, I like this whole idea of rechargeable. And yes, people are going to look at this video and say, oh, you can buy a different one. Well, right now, the O lights are meet, meeting the criteria. I mean, this is a, I don't know, I paid 119 for this light. And it turns on, it turns off. Is there modes? Yes. Well, that's where this one comes right out of the box. This one has an issue with the modes. Of course, sometimes it does it. It's like, this is medium mode. This will be the mode that I use most all the time. It'll sit here and start flickering, and then you will have to start messing with this battery the benefit i do like about this flashlight which i wish this flashlight had and this flashlight had, is it has a lock system you can push this button and it'll lock out and i love that because then i can put it in a case and this is a night eyes flashlight utility case which i really like it needs to be broken though because it's a bugger to get but it's it's you know i'm i'm kind of up trying to upgrade to my flashlights i'm trying to retire the whole mag light style and get myself some nice ones but again i've had issues with this one already just in those first two days of having it so is it a good flashlight does it throw really good absolutely it's just i don't know i, I just it i sh when i grab a flashlight out of a box after spending 119 dollars that sucker should turn on and off. And here we go. I got an on sale keychain flashlight. Double A. Turns on, turns off, turns on. I've thrown this across the room already a couple times and it still works. So if I threw this one across the room, I would have to sit here and play with this button a little. Now, if you have this and you're looking, oh man, does I have a flashlight that's doing the same thing. After you take it apart, which the inside of this is not really hard. You take a little small screwdriver and you can loosen it. Be careful because the pieces have a spring in it. It's spring loaded and you can clean it. Mind you, it voids the warranty because you're not a qualified old light technician. But, oh well, that's, that, that was my choice I took. You take it apart. You clean it really good. Now you're going to have to clean it with something like I had a, a brush. I, I didn't have a brush, but I had a, like... Oh, an oil cloth I put through there. Try to get that the magnetized pieces off of there, and I take it apart now. When I carry this as an everyday carry, because I depend on it, because this was my this is my go-to light besides this Nebo. I put a piece of electrical tape over. I just wrap it over the top. That a lot allows you to still be able to use the magnet, but it allows no gunk to get on it. And that'd be another thing if O light would come up with some type of maybe cap that they could flip see and i don't know if i like that idea either because the first thing that's going to happen is the cap's going to break so i mean i don't know like i said i'm hoping i'm hoping with this new if this is a new design this will work better but this is kind of my gr my grief that i have a 20 dollar flashlight and i have a 14 dollar flashlight that 
every time I turn it on, it does what it's supposed to do. And when it dies, I put batteries in. I've got one here that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Good flashlight. It's clear, it's bright. And is that these my only O lights? No, I've got a uh, I have a Wave 25. Haven't got to use it yet. Like I said, it don't have the magnetic t deal. It's really my grief is with this. I'm really not sure what the issue with this one is. I'm hoping it's just I need to take the cap on and off a few times and get that you know get that brass set to the the battery. I don't know, but if you guys are having issues with your O lights good flashlights they just i expect my flashlights to last longer than two months before i gotta start playing mechanic on them i've never touched this except taking it apart and putting the battery in that's all i've ever done so if you guys want to know what this is an ebo you can buy these at the local ace hardware store this is just one of those I guess we call throwaways, but that gun, they've treated me so well. I mean, I've had this, I bet I've had this for two years, and all I've ever had to do, and I don't even think this one's got a new battery in it. I think it's still running the old battery. This one I just got, so I'll let you know what I like about this one. But these old lights, they look, the quality is there. It looks like it's there. It's just there's something with these chargers, and maybe maybe there it's maybe my dream is not there maybe maybe for the type of job i'm in i'm expecting too much for a rechargeable flashlight so i guess for whoever wants to watch this video nobody watched my other ones there you go there's my old light my old light review love the flashlight it's just two months in and i've already had to work on it and normally like i said it normally just rides in my pocket until i need it and when I need a flashlight, I shouldn't be sitting there beating on it, trying to make it, trying to make it work. And there I am, trying to mess up my, and I'm a terrible video maker, so I know somebody's going to complain about that. So, but there you go. Uh, I hope you guys like my review. Like I said, I'm not really balking the functions of it or the brightness or what type. I'm just, for some reason, and I'm hoping that this one's different, the magnets, this, this little charging system gets gunk in them. And you have to take it apart and clean them. But, I don't know. I think they need to come up with some type of different different system there. I love the whole charging system. The docking port's a neat idea. So, um, but that's my opinion on the Olight. So, thank you very much.